Hello everyone, welcome back to IndianCoding.com. Today we are going to study about uh, uh, CSS rounded corners. So this is our lecture 39th and we are going to give a title as CSS rounded corners. So what is CSS rounded corners? With the CSS border radius property, you can give an element rounded corners. So here inside the body tag, first I am going to mention one uh, paragraph. So after writing the paragraph, you can mention anything you want to mention inside the paragraph. Okay. So after that, inside the uh, paragraph, I should provide one class name. Here I have mentioned the class name. So the CSS border radius property defined the radius of an element's corner. So for that, I have to mention the style element. Inside the style element, I have to style this paragraph to get the par uh, rounded corners. First, let me write the class name that I have uh, mentioned. And after that, I will just write the border. I can, uh, you can choose uh, whatever pixel you want to and the color. So I have used the two pixel solid red. Fine. After that, I have to mention the background color. Fine. So in that case, you can mention whatever background color you want to. I am going to choose as a light gray. After that, once you'll uh, complete this, let me reload this. So now on screen, you can see that the rounded column. But there is no space. I, I need to provide some space over there. So I will provide break and again one more break. So it will give me some space in that border. So it will help you to provide some spaces. So let me reload this fine. Now on screen, you can see that there are some space that are available. So I can create some borders uh, properly. So how can you create a border? First, you have to mention the border radius. You can use as many, uh, you can use whatever units you want to. Let me start by using the percentage one. So I am going to provide as a 40%. Fine. After writing the 40%, let's see how can we get that. So now on screen, you can see that this is not a proper, but this is how you can provide the corners you, if you want to count. Let me grab, let me write 50. This is same. And let me write 90. Again, reload it and again it is in the same form. So, uh, now on screen you can understand that this is not the proper way to, you can provide as, if you don't want to write as a percentage, you can change it to the pixels. So, I am going to write as a 20 pixel. So, this is one of the way to write it properly. That, that doesn't mean that the 90% or 40% is not correct way. But it should be according to your content, right? So, the, the, this is the right for my content. So, I will choose the, this way. So for that, let me uh, take, uh, let me uh, provide text alignment to make my content in the center. So I, so I will write text align equal to center and that now my content is in the center form. So uh, now this is looking perfect. Fine, this is the one way how can you create it. The another way we are going to study, let me provide one more paragraph. So I will write it as a, this is second paragraph. And now, let me write the class name for it. So, class equal to para2. Fine. Inside the style element and uh, style tag, I will write para2 and all the same details I will provide. I just make the changes in the uh, border radius. Okay, fine. I will just remove this border radius. What if I want to change in only in the top border? Okay. So, it will help... What if I just want to change only particular corner? So what will happen? How can you do that? In that case, you have to write border, top, whatever the you want to. I want to change first the left radius, fine? The left corner I want to change. How much you want to change? I want to change as a 20 pixel. The second thing I want to change is border, top, right radius. Okay. Right radius also I want to change as a 20 pixel. So, once we'll save this program, let me reload this particular file. Let's see what is going to happen. Only the first two for left and right are changed. Because the lower one I have not mentioned. Only the first two I have uh, mentioned. So, that is why only that is going to change. So, these are the different kind of features you can add in your, uh, add in your uh, CSS to change the border. So, that's all for today's class. Tomorrow, we'll study about more features related to CSS. Thank you so much.